Hello and welcome to another Israeli Frenemies, uh, the only news show co-hosted and co-presented by two uh, Israeli political activists. Uh, this week, co-hosting with me is uh, Mr. Ari Fold. Welcome to the show. I'm uh, glad to, to uh, uh, work with you on this. Excited to be uh, here. Excuse me? I'm excited to be here. Ah, great, me too. Um, so Ari, um, this week for me, uh, the most important thing that happened this week is the uh, uh, deep involvement of Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, our Prime Minister, in the Israeli uh, media. Uh, interference that today we're, uh, I, I heard that uh, he's about to uh, sack the whole uh, news division of a new Israeli uh, public uh, televi television channel. Um, you know, there's a lot of criticism about Trump's involvement uh, in the media. Well, not involvement, but uh, clash with the media. Here with Netanyahu, it's much deeper than that because Netanyahu is seeking control over the media. He already owns, uh, by proxy, a newspaper, a uh, very popular own, one. Own the newspaper. By proxy. And now he's undermining the work of uh, uh, introducing a new uh, Israeli public television channel by uh, changing the news division there. I think it's very alarming for the Israeli democracy. Okay, well, again, number one, he doesn't own the newspaper, so let's not start with the rumors and the fake news I just say by proxy. I, even by proxy. Adding that by proxy after you said he owns a newspaper is like saying, you know, half of like, well, he does this. Well, not really. He doesn't own the paper, number one. Number two, he's not ruining anything in this country. But in terms of, if you said already mentioned Trump, I think that it's been proven over the elections that the fake news actually hurt the people who were, like, against Trump. And I think that's going to happen in Israel as well. I think that uh, Netanyahu is getting a lot of heat from inside Israel. I don't think it's justified. I mean, again, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I didn't vote Netanyahu, but I don't think that there's another leader in this country that can stand up to world pressures and speak and be accepted around the world like he does. Forget about his English tongue. He, he just stands up for us. And, and again, I don't think that there's anyone in this country, really, that should stand against that man. He really is an unbelievable leader and a statesman. And, uh, you know, I don't know who, I don't even know who the other the I option is. I disagree, but that leads us you to disagree? our next... You disagree? I'm shocked. To, the, to, our next, uh, ...to our next and first uh, topic this week. This week we heard about the new Arab uh, peace initiative. Uh, the Arab states have gotten together and uh, they're now trying to force another peace deal down Israel's throat. And unfortunately, we see the world again <laughs> coming behind uh, the Arab world. You know what I always wondered? Why is there never a Jewish peace initiative? Why don't we get all the Jewish states together? Yeah, yeah. Why don't we get first, all of all, first of all, it's a good idea. No, but why don't we get all the Jewish states together, Ian, and let's have a Jewish with all the Jewish states. Well, you know, you know why that all, doesn't first happen? First of all, I, I completely agree that there is the need for an Israeli peace initiative. No, I didn't say that. Why don't we get all the I Jewish understand. states together? I, I, I see, I see your, your stick there. Well, why don't we do it? Uh, because we have only one state. Oh, so and in order to maintain it, we split up that one to, state. And to preserve it as a um, Jewish uh, national homeland and a democracy, both are very uh, important. Okay. You need to have a Palestinian state next to uh, the state of Israel. I but, but I don't want to give you an uh, easy time here. I just want to you, understand. You like, mentioned in, order to, in order to preserve a Jewish state, we have to give a terrorist state to those who want to danger us. We I, need I to, it makes to sense. give a people that lives under our control for 50 years their independence, their right of self-determination. Uh, the West Bank. That, you the can't Arab, talk about yeah, the Arabs all the people are terrorists. Sorry, Arabs live under the PA and under, under Hamas, not under, under control. I'm sorry. Uh, we facts, can discuss sorry. that. It's facts, not a fact not, at all. Uh, the, the PA is not a, a uh, sovereign. It's just uh, a municipal body. They're involved minus. in all civil uh, But issues. hold on, hold on, Ari. I don't want, I don't want you to, uh, get, uh, to get easy time here. You know, this I don't show, want easy time. No, none of us gets easy time. And you talked about the Arab uh, Peace Initiative. What you missed in your uh, uh, opening, uh, presenting this, uh, uh, this uh, topic, you forgot to mention that one... Jason Greenblatt was present in, uh, at the Arab League summit. Okay, and therefore? And that shows a, uh, another proof that President Trump, the Messiah of the Israeli the uh, only settlement one who right, the Messiah was the settling right, media, is us. now uh, walking the same track 
the President Obama walked in. You can't call him anymore no. a Muslim or, 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 or anti-Semite, all that. Let's calm We're down. going let's, to the same let's calm track. Down, let's calm down, Uri. Number one, the only person who called calm. him a messiah were the left-wing media who tried to blow him up into something which he wasn't. Number two, if he's walking the same track of Obama, I guess the demonstration of the United States should stop, considering the same as Obama, right? I don't think you believe Only that. on that Number issue. Number three, Uri, one second. Number three, with all due respect, as someone who lives in Judea, I am happy to have a president in the White House who does not think I'm illegal. I do appreciate that. The fact that he wants okay. a deal, the fact that he wants a deal struck is wonderful. But the problem here is not that. The problem is if you or anyone else believe the same Arab states that at UNESCO stated that Jerusalem is not a Jewish city, if they're going to make peace with you, I'm sorry, can you pass over the pixie dust? It's really, you must be ready to Again, talk like that. Again, don't talk to me. Talk to Jason Greenblatt. Talk to, I, to Jared to uh, uh, Kushner. Talk oh, to Jason President Greenblatt. Trump. So again, because these people whom you, uh, you know, the leader, uh, the leaders, uh, the leadership of the uh, uh, settlement movement went to his ina inauguration. Correct. The, the, Why? Uh, Why? Why? Hold on. Because Why? they were, because they were invited. Why were they invited? Hold on. Uh, uh, Minister Bennett said this is, uh, you know, the, the uh, historic opportunity what? to annex, to annex the, the West Bank. Right. And you, you hear this week from uh, uh, another star of this, uh, of ILTV, uh, uh, Alan Deshowitz, speaking uh, 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 bluntly about the fact that Trump told him that he's committed to the two-state no, 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 solution, no, 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 no. What he definitely. Said, what he said was, specifically, he did not hear say one or two. But if, if no, it was a one-state, no I, Palestinians, Uri, terrorists, Uri, as you say, you're being, you're being Green inaccurate. Black would not be at the, at the Arab summit. Okay, I understand. We could talk about the issues, but you can't be inaccurate with your statements. Hold what he said, please what, tell he, me. what Alan Dershowitz said was he did not mention one or two, but he is sure that he was talking about the two-state solution. That's what he said. That's not one. what I read. Number two, uh, I want what, to talk, we have Alan Dershowitz every week here. To, so. I want to move to now the, the facts on the ground. The two-state solution, which I call the Oslo effect, where Israel is basically given a moral ground to terrorists who want to destroy us, is an Oslo effect. We have that. Even the right has become sick with it. And I agree with you that Bibi Netanyahu has become sick with that, that sickness. But, but now the, Trump is, too. The, no, I don't think Trump is. I think Trump's trying to take the main news off of Israel and onto Iran, and this is the way to get the Arab world quiet. But that's besides the point. What I'm trying but to again, say, Trump, let's get to the meat. The Trump two, is, is endorsing the same process that you accused you and your partners Trump is of not President Obama for being... Uri, and you know Uri, what? Uri, I'm Uri, happy about that. What Trump said is he wants a solution. And it's not a terrorist solution. Uri, this Uri, is all uh, excuse, well, well, excuse me, one second. Abbas, your man. Said he's, he's not my man. He's the leader of the Palestinian people. I understand people. the man that you want to make a two-state solution said he's happy to see Jewish blood spilt in Jerusalem. Is that the oh, man? Oh, come on. Look, What's that quote? Qu so, well, no, if no, no, I no, quote no, no, the Israeli government Uri, right Uri, now, Uri, Uri, with Miri Negev, with Avigdor Lieberman, with leader, all these people. You said that Abbas is the leader of that Palestinian people. He's not people. my leader. He's, He's the, leader the leader of the people. Of you the want to make... Let's go to the Karen, please. Tarbot, we are passive. We are Kaspomat. The people who are the ones who are the ones who are the ones who are the ones. Okay, so um, we, I opened uh, with threats on the Israeli democracy, and we have uh, a new McCarthy here in Israel. Her name is uh, <laughs> Minister of Culture, Miri Hashtag Degev. Hashtag fake news. Fake, uh, <laughs> Come opinion. on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please. Uh, fake news is when, I'm, I'm stating my opinion. Oh, okay, as long as you make my your opinion. My analysis, <laughs> and you know, I have a good basis for it, is that Miri Regev, Yes. And the steps she's taken is uh, very similar to what McCarthy used to do. What is McCarthy doing? But ho let's tell the, the, the viewers who McCarthy? don't know who don't know what's going on in Israel, uh, yeah. not all of them know, uh, what Miri Regev is, is now uh, saying. She's now saying, and uh, the whole Israeli uh, movies uh, industry, unlike the United States, is based on uh, state funding, on government funding. Uh, and for years, that government funding uh, was done uh, without politics at all, with no ideological uh, inclination, but rather by, you know, professional standards. Mir Yegev, our Minister of Culture, is now saying that first, uh, movie, uh, movie uh, uh, makers and, and uh, theaters have to go to the occupied territories in order to get um, uh, subsidies. Uh, they well, need. Well, well, they no, need. No, 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 they she need. Did not say that. Excuse me. She did. No, she, she did. did it. She's she did. making up things. Okay, so so respond in a sec. Respond in a sec. Respond in a sec. I know what she said. You can say what she said. Though. Hold on a second. But another something that happened this week 
uh, she said that in order that she, her uh, ministry, and again, she's the minister, but she's not, you know, she's a political person, she will determine who's loyal or disloyal to Incorrect. Israel Correct. She did in not order that. to get uh, funding. Let me tell you what she said now that you said those just in inaccuracies. There is a law that came out in 2011 that there are certain things in this country you cannot touch. You cannot work to change this country from a Jewish democratic one to something else. You cannot... Uh, take the flag and abuse it or, or, or disrespect the flag. There are certain things you can't do. What she said, if you're getting funds from the government, you cannot go against, you can't be a criminal. You can't break those laws. That's all she said, Uri. But that's all determine, But Miri Regev will determine no, who is no, loyal no, no, or no, no, disloyal? No, 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 you're not listening. There are laws in Israel that say there are certain things that you she, cannot she disrespect. She spoke about, I, I heard she her. She said, when, Uri, you can't say it's inaccurate Uri, because I heard her Uri, Uri, in an interview Uri, yesterday listen, morning. I have it down here, I have it right here. She said, what she said was that any movie that is breaking the law in terms of disrespecting certain national symbols that are, one second, that are Not national break, symbols. She talked about loyalty. Hold on, hold on. That, correct. If you break, and disloyalty. If you break As the if we're talking in a regime, Uri, I don't know where. If you break the laws that are there to protect, but one second. What's, who's, who's saying if, what is I'll breaking you, the law? I'll give you the perfect example. Is she a police? I'll give you the example. There are laws. The way of democracy, there are laws. Okay, the laws are made by the Knesset. One law, for instance, is you cannot disrespect the flag. So if you have she that did woman, not speak about the flag. She talked about loyalty giving, and disloyalty. I'll give you an example. For instance, the Megiddo movie, the show, okay, which okay. was exactly the issue. What happened there was they gave a stage to terrorists. The person who they was gave a stage to prisoners Uri, Uri, in, an Israeli, in, of in an Israeli. He so now the, the public, on, public doesn't have the right. Time, time to, out. Yes, okay. but they are prisoners. Hold on. Yes. Let's let's tell yes. let's tell the uh, the viewers. Yes. The we're talking about a TV series, a documentary TV series that documents uh, Israel, uh, a fiction. Uh, um, Palestinian, Palestinian, uh, no, I heard it's documentary, if I'm, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, it's documentary. It's uh, uh, pri fantasy. Pri prisoners, it's no, no, it's, it's documentary. And it's documenting prisoner, Palestinian prisoners in an Israeli uh, military court, Palestinians who, are, uh, who were indicted for, for terrorism. Terrorists. That's right. Not just a documentary. Why Look, if the, the art the is going to be determined why by a politician, why does this is not a democracy. Uri, why do you do that? Why do you call Palestinian prisoners? We're talking about a very hot subject now, the Temple Mount. Uh, as you saw in the video right now, the Muslims who are praying towards Mecca are actually sticking their rear ends out towards the Golden Dome. Uh, the Temple Mount is actually called Beit al-Mugdas in Arabic, which means built on the temple. What happens right now is we have a policy that is pure apartheid, anti-Semitic, I don't know how to call it, but that uh, basically says that Jews cannot have freedom of worship on their own Temple Mount, which is really ludicrous. And right now, the government of Israel has again stated that members of Knesset cannot go up in the Temple Mount and Jews are not allowed to pray. I truly, as someone, a leftist, a liberal, I don't understand how leftists justify such a racist, anti-Jewish, apartheid-like okay, action. Okay, uh, uh, the terminology here, I think, is... Uh, one second. If I say it? someone Hold can't on, pray... Can, can I respond? But, one second. If I say someone can't okay. pray based on their religion, what is that called? Okay, so with all due respect, I want to respond to the Go right specific ahead. issue and not, not the uh, principle. First of all, I pray every morning uh, uh, towards Temple Mount and no nowhere else. I personally do that. Uh, so, you know, I can't be accused of not respecting uh, Temple Mount. I, I, I respect it so much that I regard it as a sacred, uh, uh, holy ground that, like most uh, rabbis say, uh, Jews who, who have uh, Jews of faith can't uh, uh, go there. You, I understand you, that there are some... You know, one second, Uri, you're, you, a, a minority of rabbis say, uh, think Uri, differently. if you mention a, a religious claim, you have to back it up. Do you understand that religious claim? I, it's backed up by all the Haredi no, no. rabbis. It's Haredi backed up by rabbis. the Israel you mean the non-Zionist yeah. ones. I mean, do you understand that but religious claim? But hold on, claim? hold on. About, about the, 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 yeah. uh, this uh, request. First of all, uh, in my opinion, uh, the Temple Mount is not a part of uh, the state of Israel. It's an occupied territory that is under dispute right now. Whoa. Yes, it Are is under dispute. Are you saying to me that we the, occupy I, the Temple I, Mount from someone else? Yes, I, we the did. Jewish in, in people 50 years ago, we did. occupiers on the... Yes. Uri, can I ask a question? The, How, the, Uri, the, Uri, I have a question. It's I'm gonna not agree a question, question I'm gonna agree of with faith. You. It's I'm going to agree with you right now. Law. Watch this. I'm going to agree with you. How, long, how many years have to go by... Watch this. We, we occupy the area. I agree with you. How many years have to go by Do the people who call themselves occupied lose their claim on their land? 
and the occupiers. There's no, come. there's no such, there's no such law in Great, anywhere. Great, that's wonderful. In international we'll give it law. back to the Jews. But hold on, Ari. No, wait, Ari. You, you agreed with me. Ari, Ari. There's no look, time. Look, I think that uh, definitely in a context of a peace solution, which perhaps President Trump is now promoting. No, no, don't uh, go there. Let's there will be, about. there will be. Uh, Jewish uh, presence on the mountain, as long as this is a disputed area that can uh, light on fire the whole Middle East, I respect so you are, the Prime Minister. Are you for the gay parade in I, Jerusalem? I, I, yes, I am. Oh, well, that's what. That's but that's in sovereign Israel. Oh, and but, that, but it offends Jews. It offends and it causes, Jews. And it causes. It causes hold on. It causes, I, once it co once this it, dispute yeah. over East Jerusalem would be over, yeah. I believe, and, and you know, I was part of the Geneva talks. I got And you. there you, you have Great. Jewish. So you're saying, as soon as you have over. Jewish presence on the mountain. In 1948 through 1967, they held all of Jerusalem. What was the reason for the conflict then? What do you mean? 1948 through 1967, the I'm Arabs had control. I'm saying that the what end of the conflict will but, have but, no, to have not, right? a, an arrangement also on Temple Mount. But as long as we're they had the it's Temple disputed, Mount. it can light the whole Middle East. And I respect the Prime Minister so for you're preventing is, you're these provocations. Is, stop freedom of speech if it offends someone else, and they will terrorize the other people. I'm saying that in, a, in an area of conflict, right? In stop an area the of conflict that is disputed. Of speech, you Stop need to take into account also security. Okay, so in every, by the way, gotcha. in every every You're your view. every issue of, but your of view freedom is of speech the Jews or don't worship. have a right because we're threatened by Islamic terrorism. I would not. I would not allow, for instance, uh, to, Uri, a, to a to a to a naked Uri, man Uri. to go to the to uh, Jews to the wailing to the wailing like wall. A naked yeah, man. No, you're talking about the principle Jews of freedom of speech Uri, in a Jews place of worship. Jews on the Temple Mount is equal I'm, to a naked man. I'm giving man. it an example. Don't distort what I'm saying. The How is Temple Jews, Mount? Oh, Uri, Temple Uri, Mount Uri, did is, you just compare? Is oh, Uri, you just compared? Oh come on, come on, Jews Ari, 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 it won't work here. Did you say won't that? Won't work here. Did you just you, say it? You talked about uh, you talked about the pride parade. I'm saying yes. I'm asking Security you about, issues, but you are. are gay I will parade. not allow but you provocations. Do. But you and do. The, the gay parade you're for. Yes, I am. Well, then you, you do it's have not the place of worship. Is it a provocation? I would. You know what? Is I would say that I would say that the gay parade, if it would go through. Uh, the Wailing Wall, I would be against Jerusalem. that. Jerusalem! Yeah, no, in the Jerusalem. Wailing Wall, I would be against Why that. Why would you be Definitely. against it? Why? Why? Because it's, is it's the God an of the, is the God provocation of the world a that God can of, harm security. Is the God of the Western World different God of Jerusalem? It's not a question of, of which course, God. Of course, it's offensive no, no, no. religiously. For me, no. Right. Uri, My you're, religion you're is personal. It's you, personal. If you the, believe... The, the, the Uri, mixing between religion, believe, religion and nationality brought to Jewish disaster Three times in history already, Uri, and you are you are promoting Uri, that again. Do me a favor. If you believe that we should strip rights of people because of Islamic terrorism, and at the same time allow. <laughs>Started the show, you thought we're going to be in agreement on uh, this uh, issue. The issue we're discussing now, I thought we'd be, uh, you know, I thought is, we'd be in agreement here. Is the United Nations uh, recently uh, the Trump administration and uh, Ambassador uh, Nikki Haley uh, uh, announced that great they're, friend of Israel, by the way. Uh, yeah, so I heard uh, announced um, reducing the uh, support of, of the U.S. Uh, towards the UN. Israel followed suit by uh, reducing its support. Uh, the reasoning was uh, that Israel is uh, targeted uh, too often by the UN, according to uh, their interpretation. Um, I would say the following. So far, we're in agreement, by the way. I would say no. I, I only I only gave uh, <laughs> perfectly. I'm trying to when it's there's you know there's no for me there's no alternative facts. There are the facts, and now I'll give my opinion about the facts. Okay. That's it. That's how it works. For me, your opinion should be based on facts. Yeah, there's yeah. no alternative facts. There's, I'm, I'm trying to Go say it as it. objectively as I can. So, um, first of all, I, I think that the United Nations, uh, the State of Israel, was founded based on a UN resolution. Uh -uh. I think Israel was before the UN resolution. Israel was founded uh, before. Uh, okay, not, uh, I'm, I'm not UN in the, I'm not in the business. I'm not in the business of divine interventions. I'm talking about. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. Israel was founded based what on resolution? the November 20, uh, 29th, 1947, 181. One. Yes, that wasn't accepted. It was accepted, and uh, and no. the mandate, the British. Okay, we'll one. go to history, to history <laughs> lesson la later on. 
it's, 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 it's definitely fact, a fact the that Arabs Israel, they that the war. British mandate ended the by, by, no. the, by the, by, it doesn't matter. They started a war. Okay, Didn't Ari, pass. look, you are dealing now with a totally fact. This is something that every, maybe because you went to school in, in, in the States, they didn't no, teach you no, that. No, 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 no. Here in Israel, everybody knows that the state of Israel, uh, everybody celebrated after the UN Resolution 181 in the streets, and that brought about the founding of the state of Israel. But I didn't even come to my point. That's, that's only, uh, I, I didn't even think that would be the cause of debate. Um, but in any case, uh, the UN, I think there is a problem with the uh, UN uh, Human Rights Council in, in the sense that it, there's, in its statute, there's a, a, a special clause for Israel, uh, clause number seven. I think that's distorted. I think it should not be there. I fully respect the UN. I fully respect the pursuit of human rights. I do think that th this needs to go out. But to go and by the leader of the free world and by the state of Israel, uh, which promoted international law when it uh, was founded based on, the, on, on our, our poor uh, uh, and, and, drast and, and, and disastrous uh, uh, lessons from uh, World War II, uh, to blame the UN on everything, I think that's uh, uh, irresponsible. I think we should uh, strengthen our uh, connections with the UN. And uh, definitely we, we can have criticism, but not this way. Okay, so let me just give you a little facts on the ground about the UN, which I'm sure you're aware of. Uh, in 2016, there were 20 resolutions against Israel and six are against the rest of the world. That is not uh, bias. That is you're talking about the, the, the Human Rights Council. Yeah, that is blatant. No, but not the UN. That is the, UN, the, the Human Three. Rights Council. 20 against Israel, six against the rest of the world. That is blatant anti In other words, Assad kills 600,000 people, gets one resolution against him. We build a porch in Judea, and the whole world comes. That's, that's anti-Semitism, no matter how much you want to stop. Oh, come on. Not, not everything once is anti-Semitism. Let me go on. You, are, on. you are reducing anti-Semitism. Every, every, every opinion anti against Israel give, is anti-Semitism. Let me give you a definition. Anti-Semitism, when you make laws different for Jews than anyone else. Israel is treated differently in the so UN. So you're, you're living in an anti-Semite uh, number area. Two, number two. Because you're no, giving better Rory, laws I'm to Jews vis-a-vis no, uh, -vis the Palestinian majority there. No, Arab Israelis have full equal, so we're not going there today. Number two, <laughs> number two. Okay, uh, good word uh, for this week. Um, you know what, Ari, let's uh, talk about, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll greet you here. I'll use my uh, good word for the week for uh, greeting you uh, uh, for uh, doing this. I know you uh, had a difficult time with the buzzer. Uh, we get used to it eventually. <laughs> um, all right, so this week had a really interesting week. It was actually my birthday, so uh, you know it was a good week. Ah, good. And I tell, I, thank you. I tell people all the time that it's life is not a time clock. It's not how, how long you live; it's about what you do with your life. And would you tell us uh, how old you are? Forty-four. I've known. It's a, it's a number. It's a number. No big I'm, deal. I'm forty-two, about to be forty-three uh, in October. Young guy, young guy. <laughs> but uh, I think that you know I had a crash. A, a, car, a truck hit my car this week on my birthday, and I was oh, very yeah. upset at first. I was, but then I realized, you know what? There are things a little bit more important in life than some crushed steel on my car. And I think, you know, it was, it was a lesson for me because I was very upset and I came home, I saw my family, we got the health, you know, we have a beautiful country. And I realized, you know what, calm down, everything's good, it's some bent steel, we're not getting cracked up about that, it's no big deal. And I really am excited about this show because I do think that in this country we have a problem. In other words, we can disagree, mm -hmm. but we're still brothers. We will still go and die for each I, other in I wars. I fully, so, you know, fully this, agree this on, really on that and I think uh, uh, there's a, uh, a sense recently, by the way, in both uh, uh, parts of the ocean, that the political debate is becoming too personal, too heated. We forget that we're one nation, that we're one people. Um, the kind of uh, um, language that is used, uh, the kind of hatred you see in uh, sure. uh, folks' eyes, I think that needs to uh, be stopped and we need to be uh, responsible um, and, and to promote dialogue and, you know, heated dialogue, right, of course. but to have some Never limits. forget that we're brothers. Uh, and I, I say to you all the time, you're angry at that guy. If he needed blood, would you give him blood? And so, of course. I said, so what are you, what are you, what are you screaming at him for? I fully brothers. agree. And, you know, brothers. And, and, you know, the... Uh, Fremenies, as they say. And, and the Facebook and, 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 and uh, social network, uh, the kind of, of uh, uh, language that's going on over there, really, folks, you know, there's no need for that. We can debate, uh, we can win some and lose some, but remember, there are people uh, there, there are people with children, People, uh, you know, who fully believe in what they, nobody's a traitor, nobody is, uh, I don't know, uh, a murderer, nothing like that. We all share the love for our nation, and I think uh, we should go with that. It, okay, and in this, uh, this positive note, uh, uh, um, uh, we'll uh, wrap it up for, uh, for today. And uh, Ari, good to have you here, and 
Uh, we we'll hope to see you next week in Israeli Friendlies.